Good morning, everybody. Well, good morning for me. It is the morning of the day before the show. So we are now one day out from the show. I just sent in checking photos to Cliff. I'm gonna throw them up on the screen right here so you can check them out. Boom, boom, boom. Looking and feeling full. I feel lean, I feel shredded. And I'm about to go hit a workout right now, right? So I'm gonna hit just a full body circuit workout. Hopefully spend about 40 minutes grabbing a sick pump in the gym. So I'm gonna go do that and then I gotta hit the road because I gotta drive about two and a half hours uh, to the hotel, which is in near Seattle area. Morning weigh-in this morning was 177.6 pounds. So basically, I'm supposed to eat 540 carbs today, but we're going to see today's macros are supposed to be 540 carb, 200 protein, and 60 fat. But I'm still waiting on Cliff's response to see if we're going to keep those carbs or if we're going to drop them a little bit or, or see what's up. Uh, sodium is a little higher than usual today only because uh, Cliff said that I've been looking flat all week and he thinks it's not the carbs, it's the sodium. So we've upped the sodium rather than drop it. And so, yeah, I'm taking a bit more sodium in today. I just had a pickle uh, so I can go get a pickle pump. A uh, sick pickle pump, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. About to hit the gym right now. I'm gonna hit a full body workout, get a sick pump, have fun with it in the gym the day before the show, and then come back because I gotta hit the road. I'm super excited, as you can tell. You know, all the hard work that we've put in has come down to this, and so I can't be any more ready. Honestly, I'm excited. The carbs are in me from yesterday. Yesterday, I had 400, 475 carbs yesterday, so the sodium's in me, the carbs are in me. I feel great. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, let's get this show on the road. So we just made it to the hotel. A huge clusterfuck of things just happened, but I had a good workout. That was a long time ago. The drive here was, traffic was horrible. The Seattle area traffic is always freaking bad. Anyways, uh, I just sent in check-in photos, the second check-in photos of the day, uh, about two hours late. I was supposed to send them at three, send them in like around four. 40 but cliff loved them what's gonna happen now is i'm gonna have another meal so i have all my stuff right here all my meals and stuff it's just a clusterfuck right now it's just a clusterfuck i'm gonna eat a big meal right now it's gonna be like six rice cakes and a and a protein shake and then i'm gonna check in with cliff again in about two hours to see how that sits in but he's really happy with things are looking we're gonna keep the plan out is 540 carbs um and lots of sodium so that is my update right now i'm kind of just i feel like i'm living a very fast life right now so i'm kind of just here doing all these things but yeah i gotta eat this meal i just checked in i got a polygraph test at 8 p.m so in about three hours i got a polygraph test um, and then I still got a tan later today, so that's gonna be cool, right? It's gonna be cool. But anyways, I will check in with you after I finish the meal and after I just get my life together. I need to get my life together. But I am excited, as you can tell. I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy to be here. I just don't feel, I feel like I, I haven't been able to relax yet or chill or anything, but I am looking sick though. And this is like with super light, light lighting, so. Brought all the, like, the rice over here. Here you have over here. I <laughs> brought my scale. Some more salt. This is a uh, traveling made difficult. Anyways, I'm so glad that this place has a fridge and it also has a microwave. So yeah, if I didn't have any of these, I'd be uh, I'd be screwed right now. Three ounces of chicken breast, 100 grams of rice, and 150 grams of sweet potato. And then gonna chill out and uh, send check-in photos to Cliff at around 7 p.m. 8 p.m. I have my polygraph and then we'll be good. So this is where I'll be sitting down and eating and doing that stuff. Also I have right here, this is where I used to send check-in photos as soon as I pulled up to the hotel. I used my little stand to send check-in photos to Cliff. I got a nice little goodie bag here. It says uh, 10 years, celebrating 10 years. It's good quality. Uh, it's like a backpack style. But something really important that I forgot to show you is my number. And so here it is, I am number 14. That's right, number 14. Here is my polygraph testing information. I'm gonna pay 50 bucks to prove that I don't do drugs. Got this uh, sweater-like thing, says celebrating 10 years. Nice little long sleeve. I mean, it's really thin, but still, it's pretty cool. Got the nice little uh, hoodie. I think I'm gonna go get a coffee right now, just like a cold ice brew venti coffee from Starbucks or from wherever, it doesn't matter where I get it from, I just want coffee, I just want some kind of caffeine, and I'm able to have coffee, and I haven't had a coffee today, so, spoken like a true addict, I know, 
But uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go get coffee. So I just got off the phone with Cliff, sent him final check-ins. And so basically, we look good, we, I feel good, I feel content. We don't want to run the risk of spilling over. I'm at 400 carbs for the day. We're gonna eat 45 more grams of carbs, and that's it. The original plan was 540, but we're gonna end up eating 440-ish grams of carbs for the day. Proteins and fats are gonna stay the same, so 60 fat and 200 protein. We worked way too hard to get to this condition. We don't wanna run the risk of spilling over. I'd much rather be flat than spilled because you're still shredded when you're flat. You're at least still shredded when you're flat. When you're spilled, uh, you lose a lot of conditioning when you're spilled. You go back to like four weeks out or whatever, two weeks out, three weeks out. Uh, so we don't wanna run that risk. So 45 more grams of carbs. Hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up looking awesome. But before then, we're still gotta get tan. We're still gotta go take the test. All that fun stuff. So, so I just got out of the polygraph test, y'all. And so, honestly, I I have to apologize. I haven't been 100% transparent this entire time. Um, I overate some carbs sometimes, but I passed the polygraph test. No, the polygraph test was absolutely uh, fine. Everything went good. Passed it. It wasn't that hard. They asked a few questions, and there was like a machine wrapped around me and stuff, and all these crazy things. And uh, yeah, I mean, I answered all the questions truthfully, and. Yeah, you boys are natural, so I'm gonna get ready to apply my tan here soon, so that's gonna be fun. What's up, everybody? Say what's up to YouTube. What's up? Hello. These are my friends. One of my best friends is Pita. You got Joel. Joel's mine. Oh, yeah. What's up with Joel's mine? What's all about? Oh, you know, Joel's mine is all about being a better version of yourself. If you like being a better version of yourself, if you like Daniel's channel, go check out my channel, Joel's Mind Official. Link in the description below. A little half a teaspoon of salt. Not too much. Probably like 800 milligrams of salt, sodium that I need because the. Uh, I need to secure the pumps. This isn't healthy, don't do this, but. Ooh. Oh, that's not fucking good. I'd rather take a shot. <laughs> oh. Tan in three, two, one. No. I like that Unfortunately, my face is like weird to this. Oh, by the way, my friend Cheyenne just flew in from Chicago. She's a real fucking G. For uh, real. I fucking love this individual right here. I'm all flossing my teeth. She's <laughs> yeah, she's flossing her teeth, but Do my I skin, the forehead. Yeah, I just can't help that. This is just a first coat. And then tomorrow, we're gonna apply like another two or three coats. Anyways, tomorrow I gotta get up at 5.30 in the morning. I gotta eat some food. I gotta send in check-in photos to Cliff. I gotta hit another layer of tan um by the way joel did a really good job with the tan actually it was a whole team effort joel did the majority of it cheyenne helped lupita helped and uh it was just a clusterfuck of everything but we got it done gang gang um it was a learning experience for sure but now i can say i've experienced it and uh tomorrow a few more coats I have to get some sleep here soon because it's gonna be a very early day tomorrow it's gonna be fun though good morning it is the morning of show day it is now currently 5.45 in the morning and um, getting up, I'm eating already my first meal here. It's about 10 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and like five grams of fat. Gonna pump up right after this, send check-in photos to Cliff, then eat a second meal. Cliff's gonna assess what we do from there, whether we need more carbs, less carbs, more salt, less salt. I'll put a shitload of salt in here. But I think I need more. <laughs> what, hater? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna apply the second coat of tan here in a bit. Cliff said we're looking awesome, so I'm excited about that. And it's show day. What's there not to be excited about? And I cannot wait to embrace the stage, so it's just gonna be fun. I'm gonna have fun with it. So I won't go back, go back. We are looking dark, dark now. 
Joe did a good job. Yeah, bro, you did a really good job. Hit your boy up for some motivation and uh, self tanner. Uh -huh. I think we are show ready. All right, people, we're heading to the performance center where Daniel's gonna be stepping on stage. I'm gonna be holding on his camera. Uh, he can't have his camera back there, so I'm gonna be holding on to it for now. So with that, I just wanna take a moment and just talk to y'all and give you guys an outsider perspective on Daniel and his journey. So as you guys are aware, Daniel is my best friend and I've been watching this guy work for the past, last several years on himself and on his body. And just to know, this is his very first show. This is him debuting. It's just been, it's just been a, a privilege to be watching his journey and to be here and to be able to see him do his thing and uh, step on stage for the very first time. I just want to let you guys know what you guys see on his channel. It's real. It's raw. It's, it's him making the sacrifices he needs to make in order to do what he wants to do. And the things that he's done, I promise you, it's only a few can do. But this is exactly what you need. Who you're watching right now and who has created this content so that you can follow, it's very genuine and it's very dedicated, hard work. Lately, with his prep, he's had to sacrifice his time being with his friends and his family because he had to be on a strict diet, which we're all here to support. With that being said, Daniel, I fucking love you, bro. We're all proud of you. Everyone that's watching is proud of you. And you're just, you're an amazing person. So keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna get ready to pump up now. Um, the first piece of chocolate I've had in like six months, so. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. The only time you can have chocolate during this entire progress or process, so. Just get out there and get it, man. Back double bicep. Rear lat spread. Relax. Quarter turn. Side chest. Quarter turn. Relax. Come at 14 and 16 trade places.
I have 13 and 16 trade places. Front last spread. Side tricep. Relax. Back double bicep. Just got off like not too long ago, maybe like 10, 15 minutes ago. That was extremely difficult. Apparently, according to a lot of experienced individuals, that was a long time out there. Me as a first timer, I was just like, I don't know, but that did feel like a long time. So anyways, I had a good ass time with the with the group. It was very competitive, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Had a lot of fun. Got the experience down. It's on to the next one. Uh, so I go back home and run around like, three, four hours, five hours, I don't know what time it is, four hours. And then after that, they present awards and then I'm done for the show. I can take this tan off and I can go have a cheat meal, hopefully, mm -hmm. if coach allows it, so, yeah. And also would like to thank my friends and family for their support. This is Daniel Lara. Routine, man, fuck, wow, you killed it. You had the whole, you had everyone hyped, hyped up. Pretty badass, man. Yo. Good job, Daniel. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I love you it. You did man. amazing work, Daniel. I'm super proud of you. Keep killing it. You did good, Daniel, man. You killed it out there, man. Proud of you. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> Familia. Hey, you brought the win. First place yeah. in our eyes, Daniel. Shredded. Absolutely. Shredded, insane. We saw Your the legs look massive. <laughs> <laughs> Look like tree trunks. That is massive. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first from your fan, bro. You can come back bigger and stronger, as usual. They don't call you Nixter for nothing. What's up y'all? So I just showered. I thought a lot of the town was gonna stick to me so I'm wearing the same clothes as Friday because I don't want to ruin any more garments. We didn't get the placing we wanted, but that's all right. By the way, I'm here celebrating with my friends, my pals. What's good everybody? Say what's up, what's up? Top three easily and not third. Yeah, yeah. Not second, that's for sure. It should've been first. We, we, we definitely brought it. 
You know, I did. I, I left no stone unturned out there. I, I gave it my 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 all, and that's exactly what I you know. That's what I preach all the time. It doesn't matter what I place or anything like that. At the end of the day, as long as you give it your all, and you do what you say you're going to do, that's all that matters. And that's exactly what we did here today. That was good. It was a great experience. Loved every moment of it. Gonna celebrate with big ass burger that I haven't had. I haven't had a burger in like six months, so. There's no it's such so thing as L's. No. It's just lessons. Not today. Lessons. But all I've had today was Reese's peanut butter cups, okay. rice cakes, and pre-workout. And salt. And salt water. And a lot of salt. A lot of salt. So my stomach is uh, kind of upset. So a salad doesn't even sound bad right now at this point. Yeah, y'all. We did it. Thank you. Can you bring us napkins? Bring a lot of napkins. <laughs> this will put me back 12 weeks again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm not doing the whole thing. Listen, if I eat this entire thing, I'm going back to six weeks out. Let's give y'all a, a, a first taste. I haven't had a burger in a long time. Yeah. Let's get the reaction. Yeah. Hey, Danny, this when's the last time you had a burger? Early January. Early January. It's June Ooh, now, so. It's June now, so. Oh, I walk away. Yeah. Hey, how was it? Oh. He's so crying. Funny. He's crying. So oh. I'm loving it. I feel like I feel like I'm high. Pro tip, you want the best food in your life? Diet for 20 weeks and have a burger. That's gonna be the best food you've ever had in your have life. Have a burger the size of your head. Oh. This thing, man. Let's see the bite. Crazy off. Half will do. I could probably feed a family of five with this. Um, See the bite. This was earned. This was earned for sure. Oh, yeah. I'll see how far I can get. Let's play a little game. As Jesse so James West would say, so last bite, like, best bite. What are you guys doing? And then, like, oh. <laughs> Facts. We're it's here a, with Daniel Yonique Stellara. First burger in months. How do you feel, buddy? Yeah. He said he can yeah, still eat, eat folks. Uh, Heard it here first. Uh, Game more. Yeah, it's uh, your boy, Ice. Catch me the power of the next. Power of the next. And so now we are a couple days into the future at the conclusion of this video. So I placed fourth in my first ever bodybuilding competition. Not the placing that I was shooting for, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. Let's take a look back at the beginning of the series. Remember at the beginning of the series when I said that at the end of the day, it does not matter what we place. What matters is that we give it our all throughout this entire prep. And that is exactly what I did. I gave it my all. I did what I said I was going to do. The posing was new to me. Remember at the beginning of this prep, I was originally just going to do men's physique. But then I kind of transitioned towards wanting to do bodybuilding, which was my first ever show. I brought my number one most elite physique that I have ever achieved onto that stage. I can say that I was the leanest, if not the most shredded on that stage, and I'm very damn proud of that. Me and my coach are very, very happy with the package that I was able to bring, that I was able to bring to that stage. And honestly, um, I'm just very proud. I'm proud of making it even this far, of even stepping on that stage. It was awesome. I had a blast. The experience that I gained out of it, the information that I gained out of it, the knowledge that I gained out of it. I now have a benchmark it's always going to be me versus me at the end of the day and the benchmark has been set for bodybuilding next time I do this which is another three to four years from now I want to give myself a lot of time to really build some quality dense muscle but the next time that I step back on stage I now have someone to beat and that someone to beat is the individual that stepped on the stage this past weekend remember y'all I gave it my all I gave it my best effort I left no stone unturned I gave it my best shot that's all that matters we're almost towards the end of prep I got one more show which is actually I'm actually two days out from that show tomorrow is one day out the second one's going to be an NPC men's physique show so I'm super excited about that I'm also super excited to find out which one I end up liking more whether it's bodybuilding or men's physique you're going to see that video come out as well after this one I just want to say if you're still watching right now thank you so so much for sticking through this video I hope you enjoyed it I know that I enjoyed making it for you. If you made it this far in the video, I'd like you all to please drop a comment saying the grind continues. If you liked it, you learned something here today, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, you already know what it is. Let's get active.